Which is love, which is lust, which are your reason, which are us. Is it wrong if it's rushed? You want us and I won't budge. Who to blame? Who to trust? Do you love me to death or do you hate my God? so much. That was probably the quietest audience I've ever played for. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so when I was in grade school growing up, I was very much a Renaissance child, meaning anything artistic I could get my hands on, uh, art, chorus, band, theater, you name it, I wanted to do it. Your stereotypical artsy kid, which I'm sure is really hard for all of you to imagine right now. <laughs> I was lucky enough to grow up in a school system that fostered these creative tendencies I already had. So the teachers, the programs, the friends that I surrounded myself with really helped to shape the person that I am today on and off the stage. So you can understand how disappointing it was to find out that of all the United States, Georgia ranks one of the lowest in funding for the arts. According to the Georgia Council for the Arts, 66 school districts cut or eliminated completely art and music programs since 2009. By 2015, only one third of these districts have made any attempts to restore the programs. So, some fellow artists and I decided we would start the RAISE program. RAISE is an acronym for Reviving Art and Student Education. And what we do is we take a variety of professional working artists we visit public schools all around Georgia and we talk to students about career opportunities for artists outside the classroom. We talk to them about how art is very much a part of their daily lives, whether they know it or not. You know, their, their team mascot, the clothes they're wearing, their favorite video game character, their favorite song on the radio, all of these things have an artist that contributed to the making of it. But our main goal in Rays is to encourage students to follow their passion, whatever that passion is because the thought that anyone might feel like their dreams are less valued because of funding challenges in the school system is really heartbreaking. The fact that the football team just got a new jumbotron 
but the school has yet to uh, replenish art supplies in the classroom, doesn't mean that football is any more important than art, and vice versa. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, go art. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so we're there to really just encourage kids to be excited about what they're doing. We believe that passion inspires passion, but we do put an emphasis on encouraging the creative student. And we also encourage a student that has no interest in a career in arts to at the very least have an appreciation for what their fellow students are creating, for how they might impact the world in the future. It's also important for us and for the students to realize that art can open up your mind in a lot more ways than you think. It's not just learning how to play an instrument or learning how to dance or paint. At an early age, art is going to teach a child motor skills. Later, it's gonna help with critical thinking, problem solving, it instills confidence, it teaches independence, innovation, creativity, how to criticize and interpret the world around us visually. It helps with decision making. It helps children to focus. And not only all of this, but we see significantly higher grades across the board in schools that do put a higher emphasis in art and music classes. If students are only placed in their core classes, science, math, reading, history, if we coop them up in a classroom all day and we teach them how to follow directions, then that's exactly what we're going to get, is a society of people who simply follow directions. If we don't provide a creative outlet for students, we don't get the next great innovators. You don't get the next David Bowie, the next Steve Jobs, Michelangelo, Albert Einstein, the Beatles. If the world wants people that are coming up with new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways to solve the world's problems, we must invest in the creative minds of tomorrow. We must foster an environment that encourages students to express themselves. To put it simply into one sentence, and this is the RAISE mission statement, it should be our mission to raise awareness of the arts, all arts, as an important cornerstone of a vibrant, dynamic world, and to show that art provides culture, art elevates thought, art sparks passion, and art inspires creation. Thank you.